anyone speaks about Marina, the, the only tower I really hear is either like Princess Towers or Marina Gate. They're mm. the only two that get mentioned. So is there any other good towers in Marina? Yeah, obviously you've got Vida Marina. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Manchester Tower. A few Tower. towers which obviously are popular, especially the older buildings. Obviously you've got larger sizes, so they are popular to buy, renovate, either flip or put them on rent for short term. So, I mean, mainly all the towers in Marina. However, yeah. you do get bigger sizes, so it just reflects in terms of the price per square foot and yeah. the sales value. Oh, so we, so we can ask, do you know about that? Because I'm sure you spent an eight in Pinnacle Tower. Uh, <laughs> 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 so you can tell us what that was like inside there. <laughs> Good facilities. <laughs> uh, calm down, calm down, calm down, calm down. Well, 20 minutes, 20 minutes ago. Ago. Going a bit red, mate. <laughs> Hello. Look into my eyes. <laughs> Anything you need, come to us. Hello and welcome to Marina versus Downtown. It's a new podcast we're planning to do, comparing both Marina and Downtown because there's a lot of similarities in the area. Let's start with why we're all doing our areas. Amir? So the reason I chose to buy Marina is because when I first moved over to Dubai, I stayed in the Marina, yeah. fell in love with the community. There's a lot to do and I just thought, yeah, I could see myself renting and selling in this area. Is there a reason you did apartments and not villas? I chose apartments because I like more fast pace and I obviously like more higher transacting. So that's the reason I chose it. So, Cam? Uh, to be honest, quite similar to Amir here. Um, before moving to Dubai, obviously the main places that I heard of were Dubai Marina and the Palm. Um, <laughs> and in terms of a place where I could see myself living, uh, Marina definitely aligns with where I'd want to stay. Yeah. Cam, you started in Marina for <laughs> one week, was it? Yeah, I did five weeks. Where's, where's five weeks of my life? Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely hated it. I mean, I was in the same company. We were in the last company. Um, as soon as I moved to downtown, it wasn't actually by choice, to be fair. That was just <laughs> where we got put at the time. Obviously, Lorenzo and, and George were there. Um, and yeah, I haven't, I haven't looked back, to be honest. Yeah. Um, don't really like the water. Don't really like the, the customer <laughs> base down, down in the marina. <laughs> Tina, what about yourself? Yeah, so I joined Strahd in October last year. Uh, did another area, the Greens and Views. Uh, always stuck with apartments, so I wanted to stick with apartments. Yep. When I joined Strahd, I did do ranches for two weeks. Common theme in downtown. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> stuck stuck with what I know, stuck back to apartments, moved into into downtown rentals. Oh. First thing he done was the um, was the karaoke performance. <laughs> <laughs> None of that today. Yeah, so for me, I uh, started on the property management side, was doing pretty well at that. We decided to go into the sales and downtown felt like the best area to go into, to be honest. So boys, favorite towers. We'll start with Tino on this one. In downtown, what's your favorite tower, mate? Um, there's two. Um, it is just newly handed over downtown views. Yeah. Um, the amenities and um, the view of Burge and the fountains, and also Forte again, just because of the, uh, the amenities, the pool, um, they're my two favorite and the most transacting that I've done in rentals. Does that even class as downtown though? Is that the other side of the motorway? It is, it is class as downtown, yeah. yeah. I, it, I had a push now yeah. with the ones. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, it is, it's more to the towards the Zabil side, pushing into the IFC, but yeah. it is still classed as. <laughs> Burge Belief at downtown, yeah. So, Amir, what about yourself? Um, I'd probably have to say Vida Marina or Marina Gate. Yeah. Reason being, Ema and Select Group, probably two of my favorite developers. And I just think the quality, the facilities, the sizes are good. And obviously, most of the units which I usually go into have Marina views as well. So, just love that about yeah. the buildings. Frankie? Um, to be fair, Old Town, when it comes down to sales, I would say love the area, love the community. Love the access, it's quite easy to get in and out of. Um, in rentals though, I was predominantly downtown views and for an app one or two forte. I just feel like from, from a sales point of view, they, as a sales agent, they don't really offer what I want out of my long-term thinking as an agent, if you like, but from an investor point of view, the great amenities are phenomenal, um, I would say. And like, you know, the service charges, comparison for being a smaller properties as, as they build them now, Emar. I was obviously really good, but like I say, it's just in terms of where I want to go, buying, renovating, flipping, it doesn't suit my sort of career path, mm. I would say. Don't you think it's mad how even within downtown, you've got Old Town as well. So you've got yeah. all the big skyscrapers, then you've got Old Town, which is literally looks like you're going back 
30, 40 years. Yeah, it? it looks yeah. like Marrakesh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Does, yeah. does uh, Marino have anything like that? Um, not really. Nothing. JBR much. side. JBR yeah. side, yeah. But obviously, it doesn't. it's not really like Old Town. Uh, you obviously get that older feel, and it is nice. I've seen upgraded units in Old Town, which does really make it look attractive to overseas buyers or people who just want to use it for end use. What about yeah. EMR6? Um, part of like the, they've got like villas, haven't they? Yeah. EMR6, well, like, I wouldn't say it's much like Old Town. Obviously, you can compare it in some aspects, maybe towards the size. But in terms of the external finishing, I wouldn't really say it is similar to that. Although mm. EMR6 is obviously the oldest towers in Dubai Marine. And, I wanna, and just a segue in terms of the address. Obviously, I, mm. we've had a couple of name changes in the address, uh, predominantly like address Boulevard mm-hmm. and obviously address Dubai Mall, which is now Fountain Views formerly. Yeah. Um, and obviously Marina have moved to Kempinski, is it? From no, JW Marriott. Uh, JW Marriott, okay, yeah. right, there you go. What's your opinion um, on that, the name change? Do you think it's gonna make any difference? The address is such a big name, even for us boys in downtown. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I think, think it's going yeah. over. I think it was due a change of name, to be honest, um, compared to the, the, the rest of the address hotels. Mm. Um, it's slightly, uh, Dated in terms of um, interiors. Yeah. Um, what do you think about Kempinski though? Like, um, as a I, brand, I, I just see them popping up quite a bit. I seen the Ireland on Arabian Business yesterday. The obviously the Ireland are doing 1.6 billion project, and then obviously you look at like they're doing things in downtown and they're getting a hotel in Creek. The next obviously few years at least um, going forward, you've got obviously Sky Views is still under the address name, but will it be? Will will that be you know renamed again? I know Vida in downtown got renamed. It's it's definitely uncertain, isn't it, for somebody who owns an in a service department? And I know more and more people want the Airbnb. Obviously, Marina is the, the number one area. You would yeah. say Green to Views mm. Marina for for Airbnb. It's also a good sign as well because JW Marriott Kempinski they're also the quite high standard uh, five star hotel luxury brands worldwide. Yeah. So I would say it's still a good sign. The fact these uh, big companies are still investing. And the marina and downtown. Yeah, I agree. So coming back, what is your favourite tower, Cam? Uh, it has to be Marina Gate. Um, purely because of location, facilities and finishing in the apartments and the development itself. Mm. Uh, it's a place that I could see myself living. And that's where I did my first sales transaction. So I think you've got a bit of a soft spot there, yeah. Got shares in it, haven't you? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The only thing I ever hear you say is Marina Gate, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Don't say anything, you've never been that's anywhere that's else. Yeah. <laughs> well, no, it's a good point, really, because when anyone, anyone speaks about Marina, the, the only tower I really hear is either like Princess Towers or Marina Gate. They're mm. the only two that get mentioned. So, is there any other good towers in Marina? Yeah, obviously you've got Vida Marina. <laughs> no. Yeah, yeah. Manchester Tower. Towers, which obviously are popular, especially the older buildings. Obviously, you've got larger sizes, so they are popular to buy, renovate, either flip or put them on rent for short term. So, I mean, mainly all the towers in Marina. However, yeah. you do get bigger sizes, so it just reflects in terms of the price per square foot and yeah. the sales value. So oh, so we can ask, do you know about that? Because I'm sure you spent a night in Pinnacle Tower. Uh, <laughs> 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 so you can tell us what that was like inside me. <laughs> Good facilities. <laughs> uh, calm down, calm down, calm down. Calm down. Well, well, it's got a bit red, mate. <laughs> what is his name? <laughs> but you know, it brings on brings us on to another point about old versus new. Yeah. Um, for me, my own experience, the new towers in downtown definitely are much smaller in size, but the amenities are so much better. Um, I was in Forte the other day, it's got a cinema room, it's got a gym better than most commercial gyms, it's got multi-purpose room, it's got a games room, the pool's massive, but the apartment size, it's like 1,500 square foot for a three bed. Yeah, yeah, you're a bit biased there though. He's, a, he's an owner in Forte, disclaimer. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah what's well, missing? Don't, don't check the data on that. <laughs> um, but yeah, so even when we're going for viewings in those towers, you're trying to sell it, on the view and on facilities the, and no, stuff. but you, you try and sell the apartment at premium because of the view and the fountains and things yeah. like that. Yeah. Uh, but then I'm also saying to him, one minute, yes, your apartment has all these views, but this building is not done on views. It's done on amenities as amenities, well. Yeah. So then the obstruction I'm getting is, um, okay, so then why do I need the apartment with the views if this building sold on the amenities? And it almost, yeah, we still getting those higher prices, but it's a harder sell because the apartments are so small. You try and sell people to stay out of those apartments yeah. and go to the facilities. But then you try and sell it with a premium on the views. Do you get that in the in the newer towers? Not so much, to be honest. I wouldn't. I wouldn't say. Yours are a little bit bigger though, aren't they, than ours? Ours yeah. are like 
a lot smaller. Mm-hmm. But I think you can't win because obviously you, you deal with investors and from, from some of them say they're not big enough. But like you look at even City Walk and places like that, the reason they claim that they made them smaller is obviously people complaining about the price of service charges with the bigger units. They make them smaller and then people are still complaining they're not big enough. So I suppose you can't win. But then uh, even recently in, in, in Old Town, we had a, a one bedroom, 900 square foot, 950 maybe, and they went for the one 800 square foot. Mm-hmm. So even in the older ones, it is a factor. But I mean, from an investor point of view, it's good. So I suppose it's an investor's market really in it. And as it, as, as it gets more expensive, the rents are due to rise 20% this year. 20%, yeah. And it brings you quite quite nicely onto Tino. So you've got the older buildings, new yeah. standpoints, your boulevard heights almost, which yeah. are much bigger in size. Then compare that to the new buildings, which are like 600, 650 square foot, for example. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are the rents, let's, let's go for a one bed. Are the rents for a one bed in an old building the same as the new? Does um, it mean it's make any difference or not? It, it, you're there or thereabouts. I think for, for the older towers, there's not that much difference in that. Um, for a one bed in, say, uh, Old Town, you're probably looking at anywhere between the figures of 110 up to 130 if yeah. it's a bit upgraded. And then again, uh, in the newer towers that have just been handed over, one bed very similar, anywhere between 115 to 130 as well. So there's not much um, difference in that. Yeah. But with Sheikh Mohammed's plan of people coming over to Dubai, I think it's projected 200,000 people yeah, are moving this year, I think. Yeah. Um, the demand is there for investors, for people still wanting to rent, especially when they're finding their feet in Dubai for the first year. So from an investor point of view, especially in downtown, it is the, the demand is high. Yeah. Uh, touching on that as well, I'd like to, well, I would say um, it's a small compromise in terms of these newer towers that are getting built. Obviously, uh, land is becoming more scarce in these popular areas. So it's a small price to pay. Okay, you're getting a smaller apartment than you would have 15, 20 years ago, but you're still in prime, prime location. So yeah. you're going to have to pay a little bit more um, for the smaller apartments. But at the end of the day, you're in, you're in the, the central locations, either whether it be the yeah. marina or downtown. Yeah. Um, and also, it's not an isolated thing to Dubai. Anywhere you go in the world, in the UK, um, apartments and houses are getting smaller in general yeah. as well. Yeah. 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 <clears throat> you just got to find that compromise, haven't you? Whether you want, want the space um, or... You want the, the better amenities and people find you've got to find that compromise. Yeah, but I think where we can learn from downtown is with Marina. Yeah. You boys have seen it. Well, the Marina's been going for so long. You've seen the old towers turn to new towers turn to old towers and new towers come about. Um, in the older towers and the mid old towers, so let's say when it first was developed to 2018, is, is the massive price differences. And I suppose what, we're, again, just rambling on, what we've missed out is the renovation side of it as well. Yeah. The older towers will start getting renovated. And does that add value to the properties, especially in Marina? Yeah, I would say so. You're seeing a lot of properties being renovated and adding a lot of value to it. I mean, people are spending anywhere between sort of 100K upwards to about 500K, depending on the size of the apartment, renovating it and put it back on the market or putting it onto rent. Yeah. Um, obviously, on short term, I feel like they do better because if you're looking from a long term rental point of view, the ROI might not be there depending on what you bought the property from. Mm. So in terms of buying it and selling it on to an end user or selling it to an investor who's going to put it on short term, you do see a difference in that. But it does definitely increase the value of the property and make it more desirable for the investor. You've just done one yeah, recently, haven't you? Yeah. yeah. So yeah. recently did one in Trident Grand Regis- Residences. Yep. Um, renovated and it's gone back onto the market. Uh, again, a lot of interest on the property. Um, and the property looks stunning compared to the other units in the building. So it does make a huge difference. Yeah. So how does that work? So you've obviously the, the owners bought the property, they've invested <laughs> X amount, I don't know how much that is. Uh, and then what what sort of profit are, are they looking at if they do that sort of renovation? I mean, flip? with this one, he's looking around 250,000 profit. Yeah. Um, he bought it at 2.5, spent 250 on it, and it's back in the market at 3.4. Yeah. Um, obviously slightly negotiable, but that's his sort of baseline in terms of the profit he's looking to make. Amazing. Um, obviously, we used our in-house interior design team, which is HM Homes. Um, oh, really? so they've done the yeah. full Plug. interior <laughs> yeah. cut out in there as well. Brownie points. What was <laughs> <laughs> yeah. what was it kind of My idea that. Uh, that took just under two months to complete. Two months for 250k. Yeah. Not bad, is it? Not bad, is it? Not bad, is it really? Yeah. yeah. Can't Sounds like that. me. <laughs> okay, so um, touching on to where I talked about, about view and not view, especially in the... Um, the newer buildings. With Marina, does the view make such a difference? Let's talk about first on the sale price and then whether it's on short term or long term rental. Mm. We can speak about 100%. Yeah. Uh, yeah. In terms of sales, um, 
So if we go back to Marina Gate, uh, back facing <laughs> units, you're seeing them transacting for around two million. Uh, front facing, similar square footage. Yeah. Uh, full Marina views, you're looking closer to three million now. So almost 30, 30%, really? isn't it? Difference. Um, in terms of rentals as well, back facing around about 120, 130. And what were you going to say? No, just, just looking at the marina, I remember one time doing a viewing, yeah. I did a couple of viewings. It's <laughs> <laughs> uh, a bit of a free week. Yeah. <laughs> you didn't take it, uh, <laughs> sadly. Uh, but honestly, I just thought the view, to looking onto Sheikh Zayed or even obviously up the top marina gate where it is, the view is not as optimal, but the actual view of the marina, when you see it, you, you, I think sometimes you forget how good it is and then you see it and you go, yeah. wow, that's like yeah. unbelievable. Yeah. Do you want your job back in the marina? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> Running the downtown team now, <laughs> but yeah, I mean, at least with, I think with downtown, you know, as it is a better area, um, you've got the boulevard and you've obviously got the Burj Khalifa view and the fountain view too. Yeah. So, kill two birds at one stone. What do you think? Well, the the thing I feel about not, you <laughs> read the fountains, yeah, yeah, the, yeah. I mean, look, people at least want the fountain view for me. Uh, the Burj Khalifa. What can you do with You're it? The it's only, yeah, you, so. I know. I just want to mean. Shouldn't really say too much. <laughs> yeah, about. But the thing I think about downtown is wherever you stay, you're always looking for bird views or fountain yeah. views. Yeah. The good thing about marina is you've got marina views, sea views, blue True. waters views, sunset, sunrise, palm views, yeah. palm views. You've got a range of views. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> so compare Keep going. Yeah, all the views <laughs> you want. <laughs> views on views on views. It's views on views. We've so only got full of eyes around here. Yeah. 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 It comes back to like what you're using the apartment for. So correct me if I'm wrong, but <laughs> not like that. <laughs> Dino. <laughs> <laughs> In, in Marina, it's quite a lot for short term. So it's definitely geared up, in my opinion, for like the short, the holiday market with the views, with the palm and stuff like that. Not necessarily. No? Still do see a lot of, of long-term end users. Yeah. end users, tenants who love the area. So mm. we've got Maria who uh, <laughs> love the area. I'm sure that everyone's seen her videos. <laughs> <laughs> Big up Maria. <laughs> Shout out Maria. I, I do think though, if I, from a short term point of view, with the with the with the marina with the water, I know obviously you've got a terrible mall, but like, <laughs> um, sorry to just keep throwing shots. But um, like to be fair, if I was an investor, I would probably I think you look at the returns you get in marina, they're slightly higher than downtown. Um, with the beach and stuff, it's a bit more of a holiday vibe. We're yeah. we're probably more business people, Correct. so it, I suppose it's who you'd rather deal with. I, you know, yin yang in it. Yeah, exactly. It's only adding value to uh, to the marina as well. The fact that as ideally located um so yeah in terms of investors um and it's paying off for the the end users that have stayed there for a few years as well obviously seeing massive appreciation on their uh, initial investment so we ever seen growth like blue waters that's got to be yeah. the as high as anything <laughs> ever gone up like that nah, really? mad, it's unbelievable it? isn't it yeah. Yeah. well i, I mean buying, buying some... a four bed a couple of years ago 5.7 now and why, then rent, rent it out for 1.5 per year Sorry about that. <laughs> <laughs> <That's> <laughs> fucking <laughs> well, coming back to views, obviously Marina does have much difference in uh, sale price and long term and short term mm-hmm. rent in terms of views. Yeah. Are you finding the same thing in the long term market? Uh, yeah, you do. Um, say for a back facing forty, for instance, you're probably looking at um, a two bed anywhere between one hundred and fifty to one hundred and sixty. Yeah. Um, front facing with Burge and Fountain views, you're probably looking up to 170 175 so there is not a massive difference but there is a little bit of a difference there as well yeah um but again realistically a lot of a few 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 buildings do have the views um but the older ones in it the, like the, older, the older ones yeah, that's it they cut them off the one bed you're looking like 29 boulevard you can still get a bed view the yeah. newer emar properties it's it's i suppose you'd still get the boulevard view if you want to call it that and um, business bay view i i don't i'm not crazy on business bay no. at all um i think if you look at obviously yeah mr, <laughs> mr. <laughs> business bay i think if, if you look at like obviously where the bengati residence and stuff's going that's diff, that's not business bay for me to be honest but yeah. um obviously we do get still the boulevard view which which is nice of a night but See, yeah. when you're saying boulevard do you just mean road views is that basically yeah but you have to, you have to remember <laughs> that good salesman good salesman yeah, 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 it's all right mate you see that much of the bed bed <laughs> going on the advert <laughs> <laughs> yeah. the boulevard sounds nice though 
But then, yeah, coming back to the view, so we know there's not much difference, but there's still difference. Yeah, there's, within, still, there's still difference, yeah. 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 Um, rents in both areas seem to be going up around 20%. Mm. That's purely due to demand coming back to the plan. Yeah, yeah. Everyone's moving over to Dubai at the moment. And we're seeing a massive influx from both downtown and marina of people going. Are these rent prices sustainable? Um, I would say so, because obviously from where we were looking at COVID prices, obviously the rents are starting to correct now. So when people are thinking, yeah, I pay this for rent at the moment. You've yeah. got to remember that there's still, that was post COVID crash. At the moment, we are obviously starting to correct the prices, which they should be. Obviously, some people are asking ridiculous prices based on what the market is, but these are just not achievable. No. I think one question you've got to look at as a renter in, in the marina is, it's not EMAR a lot of it. So there is yeah. chiller costs, there is yeah. added costs mm-hmm. in downtown, the chiller's free because obviously we, we kept it together. We kept it a bit more premium of a product yeah. at all, Ema. Yeah. There's none of this like, you know, shoddy developers yeah. and stuff. But I mean, as a whole, you've got obviously, I mean, it, waterfront, what's it called? Beachfront. 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 Yeah, <laughs> couldn't think of it. But be, obviously beachfront's amazing, yeah. I bet. But could be the best place to live, couldn't it really? Could be, yeah. But that is the problem with, with Ema in certain aspects. You bought a property in Marina with sea views, yeah. yeah and it, if it's not an Ema property, Ema are gonna build a piece of land and block your sea views. Yeah. You've yeah. now got beachfront views. Also just to touch back on that, what you said about the units not all being Ema, obviously um, sold a few plots off. That does help the Marina achieve a higher yield, I would say. Obviously yeah. the capital investment is less. You do, you, you do have the chiller fees and stuff, um, which get passed to the tenants. So in terms of yield, you're going to gonna, gonna uh, net a higher yield in the marina, yeah? I, th- I think I think for me, I suppose it's just the protection of having EMA. But then again, I mean, it's it goes both ways because there's some there's some like really good projects. If you look at Marina Gate, that's not an EMA, is it? And look yeah. at the quality of that. That could be some of the best You've got facilities. Got like development going in. Was it Business Bay? Yeah, yeah. Peninsula, yeah. yeah. So that'll be interesting to see. Yeah, so I mean, if you look at Business Bay out there doing a lot of different projects, Ellington, Bengati and stuff. Mm-hmm. So you are seeing different different Developers projects coming. because yeah. actually for me, one thing I would touch on is Ema, there's a lot of, a lot of the designs are quite same samey. It works, yeah. in, it works in a yeah. good way and a bad way. Mm-hmm. You know, I suppose it's good to have the variation in the marina. Mm-hmm. Um, so yeah. To be honest no, with you as well, what I think is obviously with these newer, email developments they all look the same people who are buying them even though they're buying at a premium they are still looking to renovate the properties to their standard i had one sorry but i had one in forte so a brand new building it's never actually been lived in yet the owner has taken over 20th floor good views um he's doing it on short term he's got a renovation company in and just gutted it out completely mm. new telly new windows um covers for the did they have a telly in previously no, no, free new telly, sorry, no, telly. Frankenstein looking Same in the Ema yeah. Beach front, to be fair. I know it's not the marina, but yeah, you're seeing uh, people doing, doing uh, full upgrades as well um, and asking the, the higher price. Yeah. yeah. Obviously, with the, the thing with Ema Beach front is you are seeing a lot of crossover in terms of the, the newer Ema buildings, for instance, Vida, obviously you're getting larger layouts in Ema Beachfront. So when doing viewings, you tend to see people viewing both options just to see what they prefer. And depending on the age, they'll either choose Ema Beachfront or Vida Marina. Uh, I've seen that this week with people who are a bit older choosing Vida because it's more a hotel feel yeah. um, and you are more in a developed area and closer to different Yeah, areas. downtown, I would allude to that too, because you look, you look at like obviously Grande and El Primo finishing um, at the start, there was a lot of savvy people who've obviously come in and took the ones with the payment plans, which is now you're looking at cash rich people. A lot of it is cash anyway, isn't it? So I think you're looking at as the as it matures and people because people want a ready product, don't they? You see in Dubai Hills and you know all the Sidras and the Maples, and as the area matures, people will just pay the premium because they don't want to wait. They just want to buy it ready. Yeah. Um, you look at Creek, the rents are similar to downtown. But I mean, sorry, the prices are similar to downtown, but the returns aren't there. So I, I suppose it's like, wh- what would you rather have? But as downtown matures, I think there's a lot of growth in downtown. I think of, not to go against some other communities. Um, I think Marina's also beachfront. There's still an awful lot of growth. What you see, what yeah. three beds are going for now, but there's some areas where like, you're looking and you're going, 
ranchers, how how can that go any further? Where can that go from here? Yeah. You know. Well, well, I think I think you're missing the point in the sense that yeah, you're right with ranchers, but ranchers is for that family. Person. Oh no, it's a totally different community it's a different, product yeah, and different stuff. audience. But I'm just well. saying, if you look at like from a growth perspective, if you just if you, as though it was just a a pure asset and, yeah. and not mm-hmm. in terms of anything to do with the characteristics. Is the much room doesn't need to pull yeah. back. There's more and more Villa community projects coming up as well, isn't there? Yeah, yeah, that's that, spreading up and popping up every. But that is from that COVID. could bring it. And down. I feel like I, I was on a view in the only the other day, and Forte, for example, like you said, it's the graveyard of downtown because it was meant to be built in like 2015, was it? Yeah. 2016, and I was just handing over. Now. By the way, don't send this to any investors. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's not a graveyard. It's a lovely building. Best building going. <laughs> but, We've talked about the amenities in the building. So only from COVID have we really thought that, right, right, you don't just want an apartment, you want the amenities, the pool, the gym, everything. Mm. Yet this building was designed in 2015, 2016, mm. and all the amenities were already there for it to be a home working space. Yeah. So did Emo, like were forward thinking enough to think that us people 10 years down the line would need these uh, work, home, work from home spaces? They're mm. all unique. They've all got their own, you know, in terms of a downtown perspective, yeah. actors obviously got its strengths. Birch Crown's even got its strengths. They've all got strengths, but I think it, it's not just about looking at the strengths. It's about like w- where it can go from, like in, from a sales point of view. As you say, Emar, I've, I've looked in advance of what, yeah. what what the potential can be. Yeah, and I think similar to Marina, that's probably why Beachfront's come about. Downtown is space is finite now. I think there is no more space to build in downtown. I think it's completed and it? it's ready. Yeah. It's done. So now, now the space is taken. Now it's what you do with that space, and that's where we can learn from Marina. In terms of the renovations, yeah. Yeah. how how they, how they develop, and then you can also see which buildings work, which ones don't, and then hopefully as downtown as an area, investors can learn from that because there is a large crossover of investors from Marina to downtown as well. Me and you, uh, with a, a three bed in Forte again, one of Amir's clients owns in downtown because they have the same characteristics. Yeah. And they're going to have the same sort of people looking, and the investors are very similar for both areas. Mm. The thing which we found is she is looking to sell her three bed in Forte, but not her three bed in Marina Promenade. Try to sneak yeah. this. There we so go. Not too sure. Because you're better looking than him. <laughs> <laughs> Deal with a the nice Welsh <laughs> boy. <laughs> <laughs> not to do with business. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, Judy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, and coming on to, so we talked about rents, we've talked about the demand in both areas. We talked about our side briefly on payment plans. Yeah. And I feel like downtown at the moment, it's full of payment plans and that is a niche where maybe some of your investors can they learn They are going us. now though, and you've seen people going crazy, but everything's like, oh, where's the payment plan gone? Well, the guy bought it six months ago and now it's not there. Yeah, but what, what I'm coming on to is interest rates dropping. So yeah. for us at the moment, we've seen a lot of payment plans and payment plan makes sense because you only need to put down, for example, 2.5 mil and you get five, six million, million dirham property. Uh, but interest rates are dropping. Do you people, you people, you <laughs> people. Oh, <laughs> Sorry, where, where are we going with that? <laughs> Welsh. Scottish. <laughs> How many fingers do, you got? Do you see a lot of um, investors looking at mortgages now because there isn't payment, payment plans or post handover payment plans and stuff like that? Not necessarily. Obviously, people who are mortgaging are typically end users. Okay. Still seeing a lot of cash heavy investors buying to put them on rent short term yeah. or long term but we're seeing a lot of people still buying with cash people who are end users are buying with mortgage so like you you case. sold cars in the uk i was the same coming from a finance perspective people will put anything on the car when they know they don't have to pay for it up front <laughs> if a guy's buying cash he's getting standard wheels standard everything <laughs> if it's mortgage like oh i'll put this in we'll pay for that we'll pay for that yeah. because it's financed it's it's it, if they know they're getting the cheaper rate, people mm. are just they just want to see the number, the cheaper yeah. rate. Mm. They they always the bothered about the mon- monthly calculations, really. Same yeah. in cars. So I think you you see it's purely based on just the margins. But from a standpoint of of like getting it cheaper and stuff on more, which is coming down. That's all it is for people. Mm. Like they, they didn't they're happy to obviously backload the costs and stuff. I think yeah, yeah the payment plan properties are obviously preferred because that's lower down payment. You can pay it off in two years or whatever the post handover is. Uh, so we're still getting that in beachfront. Um, yeah, we got a beachfront. Yeah, um, so there are question if there's still payment plans remaining. Um, but yeah, I would say cash investors are still. If you're buying cash, you're gonna you're gonna buy regardless as long yeah. as the numbers make sense. And if you're looking at a mortgage anyway, uh, you probably stick with uh, the mortgage as well. Yeah. Okay. Anything else we want to talk about, boys? 
No, we just talk. Are we happy to agree that Dan Sands a much better area to it all? Highly disagree. Yeah. yeah well, Truly tr- 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 disagrees. Dan Dan we'll bad. continue well, it next week. Two, so, yeah. <laughs> I'm sure we'll pick it back up next time. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, good segue. Um, yeah, well. into yeah, I've enjoyed this, boys. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Me too. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for watching and listening. And see you next week.